Welcome to Reef Diary, Day 98. It's time to refill the top-off containers under the frag system as well as under the reef. And so whenever I turn on my RODI system, I always burn off the first 90 seconds worth of water because TDS will rise rapidly when you first turn it on. So the timer was set to 90 seconds. It is now counting down to zero on the microwave. And now my little vase has, I don't know, how much water is that? Three quarters of a vase. And my TDS is down to three. That's the best it's gonna be. I can open the valve now and three TDS RO will go into my DI stage. Now the DI looks really orange, but it's coming out zero. The sediment filter has turned very brown again. I'm gonna have to replace it one more time. But you see, zero TDS. So the first top off container that refills is the one under the frag system. And then after this one is full to the top, then water will fill the big top off container under the reef. This one holds 43 gallons, which lasts about 10 days. I always top off with RODI water and I don't put any additives into this water. I just fed the fish and I'm doing a quick water change on the reef. I haven't done one in weeks. I actually will look at the diaries and see when I did my last one, but it feels like six, seven weeks since the last water change. So today should be about 80 gallons, maybe 90, I don't know. I have 100 in the vat, but usually can't get the last 10. So I'm just gonna remove water from the skimmer section and from the return zone and you can maybe be able to hear that pump grinding away in the background. That's that Suche pump that I like for water changes because it sucks water down to the bottom of the sump. To avoid damaging anything, I have to disconnect this tubing first from my waste collector. So as I put in the pump, I don't somehow tangle it on the tubing. This is already plugged into a spot on my DJ power center, which has eight little switches and I believe switch number three. Yep, that's the one that turns on this pump. So now water is pumping out through this tubing, which is one inch tubing. And it goes right out the front door and down the driveway. I do this late at night when no one's looking. Haha. -ha. Good flow. And as you can see, this area now is almost completely empty. I mean, it didn't take long at all to pump this out. And then I'll just move this motor from one side to the other side. While the other side is draining, I can go ahead and pump new salt water into the empty skimmer section. So the sump really doesn't have water in it for five minutes tops. I timed it up pretty well. This was nearly to the top as the other area was completely empty. Then I went ahead and refilled this side with water. And then I just waited for the timers to elapse to restart the return pump. Water change is done. It ended up being 60 gallons of water total is what I was able to pump out and replace. And now the reservoir in the back of the tank, the big white thing, has about 40 gallons of water still in there. So once the top of containers are full, one's already done, this one's gonna take hours to fill up. But once it's full, I'm gonna start refilling that reservoir with more water to the top so I can make a new batch of salt water and have it ready for whenever I need it. But that leads me to a question that I was kind of wondering if any of you have thought of I had this conversation with someone else recently who travels a lot. They wanted to do automatic water changes and they wanted to know how long their salt water is good. Well, I've always felt that salt water lasts, you know, indefinitely as long as there's good circulation and it's sealed so that it can't get contaminants from the air. So if you have, you know, like mine, I can have that running for three months in a row and know the salt water's still good. But I've found that it seems like every brand, I don't know, maybe there's some that don't, but it seems like the brands of salts I've used over the years that the uh, alkalinity will drop after a while and just stay down. And so I was wondering, would it be possible to dose the proper amount of alkalinity to the system automatically, like once a week, to maintain a certain level of alkalinity in the brand new salt water? Now, there's a problem with this because number one, you don't want to keep putting in more and more and mess it up. You also are going to have different water volumes as you're using up the salt water. That container behind me holds 250 gallons of water. If I do a 100 gallon water change, I'll have 150 gallons left that needs some alkalinity, but not the same dose as it did when the container is full to the top. And when it's full to the top, I'm about to do a water change anyway, so usually alkalinity is good right out of the batch. But after it's been circulating for weeks, or a month, or two months, and I check it like today, I checked it. I had 100 gallons left, and it measured seven, and my tank is 9.2. So I used the reef chemistry calculator and I needed to have uh, basically just over three teaspoons of baked baking soda or soda ash 
to raise it back up to 9.2 for this water change. So that's what I did. I mixed it up, I let it wait for about 20 minutes, and then I did my water change. But if you were doing it automatically, and I'm not talking about daily water changes, that, that might be completely different. You may not even notice this. But those of you that do one once a week, once every two weeks, once a month, as your water's sitting there, it's dropping. So would there be a way to somehow mathematically figure out this ideal number to buffer it up some when you're away from your tank? You know, asking your spouse or your uh, offspring, <laughs> your kids, to do an alkalinity test of brand new salt water and give you that result so you can tell them how much baked baking soda to put in there might be more risk than benefit. <laughs> and you might say, well, I don't do water changes while I travel. But anyway, so it's something I'm thinking about and I'm wondering if there's some way to do this because it would be kind of cool to basically put in, I don't know, a teaspoon a week and just kind of maintain a certain level of alkalinity the entire time. So, what are your thoughts? Uh, today, the only thing I did on the reef tank was to clean the skimmers and do the water change and refill the top off containers. That's all it needed and the tank's just taking care of itself. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow with another Reef Diary.